Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, the channel of the Italian guy. If you are new, if this is the first time you visit my channel, my name is Giuseppe, I am 47 years old and I have been following the keto lifestyle, the keto correct way of eating, not a diet, for two years and one month so far. Today, there is another savory recipe, uh, keto arancini. And I'm very curious to know the, the comments about this recipe from uh, anyone in the world that is a, a Sicilian immigrant. So please, write down your comments below and I will, will be very happy to reply. Anyway, let's jump straight into the recipe. Okay, so let's use a cauliflower. It weighs seven, uh, 751 grams. Let's chop it in uh, small pieces and let's blend it straight away. You will see that uh, the, this stage is very, very watery, the cauliflower. So uh, let's go straight away into the pan or if you want to use a microwave, maximum power, three minutes, be sure to to stir frequently or in the pan I'm just adding olive oil and uh, a pinch of salt two pinches of salt and uh, now I keep stirring uh, as I will uh, say later in the video this is a key point for the good success of the recipe you have to uh, wait until as much water as you can will uh, evaporate I will explain later why so keep stirring. Okay, now I'm putting some saffron. If you don't like it, feel free not to put it. Or if you don't want to use bolognese, you want to make uh, another kind of arancini, you can put some ham inside, whatever. So I use the classic stuffing. Uh, some cheese that's called scamorza, is a smoked cheese. Now an egg. So if you don't want to use the egg, you can follow the bechamel recipe. I um, uploaded it two weeks ago uh, and uh, yeah so we have to uh, achieve a kind of dough that we can uh, work uh, yeah like this exactly so once you reach this stage uh, you are ready to stuff the arancini yummy <laughs> so I will do the classic one with a conus shape like they are in Palermo and also the, the balls shape. Uh, if is the case, just keep them in the fridge for a couple of hours before um, breading them and frying them. I use golden flaxseed flour, as I will say later in the video, and just one egg with a pinch of salt. So let's, you can do also double breading if you want, but once for me was enough. And now straight away, uh, we can uh, fry them um, some people they they do the double breading to make the crust uh, thicker to have a thicker crust crust but anyway it's up to you in this case one uh, once was definitely enough be sure that the oil is hot you can use the trick of the toothpicks when you see the bubbles around it it's hot enough or you can use an automatic fry fryer wait until they are golden and then enjoy okay here we are I hope you liked the recipe I'm curious to know which other ingredient you would use apart the cauliflower so anyway uh, during the preparation I told you to pay attention to the uh, stage when you uh, uh, put it in, in the pan and uh, let the the water evaporate that's a key point for the uh, good success of the recipe the cauliflower is a kind of a vegetable that has a lot of water inside it so you have seen when I put the cauliflower on the scales it was dry once I put in the, it in the blender it was watery so the trick is to evaporate to let all this water evaporate from the cauliflower so that the smell or the odor, it depends from <laughs> the opinions, will go away. So as 
much uh, water you uh, let the cauliflower evaporate, the, the, the more water you let the cauliflower evaporate, the less the cauliflower itself will smell. So that's a good trick. Uh, anyway, I, I would be really uh, glad to know your opinions and uh, if you have another ingredients to substitute the uh, rice in the recipe, apart the cauliflower. You can avoid the saffron. If you don't want saffron, be free not to put it. And uh, if you want to make them uh, white, so to say, you can just put some uh, uh, ham with uh, parmesan, for example, without any bolognese or uh, tomato, whatever. Um, be sure when you put the toothpick in the, in the pan to wait for the bubbles so that you are sure that the temperature, the, the oil is really hot and only then you can put the arancini inside to be fried. Uh, I use the f golden flax seed because they, are, they taste definitely better of the dark ones and they contain much, much less carbo. I don't know why the dark flax seed got 20-25 grams of carbohydrates out of 100 grams of product but the golden less than one for out of 100 grams of product. So that's why I feel like su uh, suggesting you to use the golden ones. If you don't want to fry, you can uh, put them in the microwave. No, not in the microwave, definitely, but you can use an air fryer or in oven, sorry, in the oven. Be sure to sprinkle some oil on, the, on them, on the arancini, or you can use an air fryer. Uh, be sure to uh, spray all the, the oil all around the, the inside of the, the, the device so that the, the, the cooking will be definitely better. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button and activating the bell so you will be notified every time I upload a video once a week. Let me know your comments below, please, especially from, my, from the uh, Sicilian immigrants <laughs> who are watching this video worldwide. And uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. I am aiming to 5,000 subscribers. Uh, right now, I am around 3,500. I definitely need your help. If you like the recipe, please share it on your Facebook walls, Twitter, whatever. Stay sound, stay healthy, remain in keto. Ciao.